Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Peak Minute. I'm Jordan with Everest Laboratories. Today, I want to talk a little bit about how people are trying to beat urine drug screens, uh, specifically for THC. One of the things people try to do is drink a lot of water before the test if they know they're getting tested. I just want to talk about you know why this doesn't work or what things drug testing companies or you know just drug tests in general can do or are doing to combat that. You know if you are drinking a ton of water before you're getting drug tested, if you know it's a week out, um, it might work. It might try and flush out your system, but if it's a random thing and you can only drink a bunch of water, you know, a day before, it's really not going to have enough time to clean out your entire system. And on top of that, a lot of drug tests um, now can also have an indicator for your creatinine level, which is basically how much of, you know, how much your body is digesting or, you know, getting flushed out with water. So if your creatinine level is really low, uh, we can tell that, hey, you've been drinking a ton of water, trying to clean out your system, so we're probably going to test you again. Um, so that's just something to think about, you know, whether you're on the side of you getting tested or you're on the side of, you know, employer, administrator, and you're doing the testing. If someone's creatinine level is low, they're more than likely trying to flush out their system, drink a bunch of water beforehand, you know, for whatever re the reason might be. Um, so you might want to retest them. Uh, so if you have any other thoughts, leave them in the comments, but thanks.